So the first memory I have that I would associate to self-care is a memory of me as a little girl. I'm talking very, very, very small. I must have been like two and a half or three years old. And I remember being in charge <laughs> of picking berries with my mother. Um, and I had this little pail and that pail, the little bucket, it was my job to fill that bucket with berries as often as it possibly could. And then we would make preserves out of those berries. And I remember doing that and feeling this feeling of belonging and being integrated and being essential. And I will tell you that I think self-care is about remembering those things. Remembering that you are essential. Remembering that you are an integral part of a bigger picture. Remembering that you belong. And the reason why I want to recall that memory for me is because the world, magazines, shows, the world would tell you that self-care is prescribed, that it is another thing for you to do. It's another thing for you to put on your checklist and get done. So if you're good at self-care, you do certain things. And honestly, I'm a, I am a driver, I'm an achiever, I love a good to-do list, but there isn't another thing I need to measure being good at or not good at. So self-care to me is very much about reconnecting myself to the space of knowing internally in my heart, my mind, my soul, my body, that I'm an integral part of something bigger than myself, that I belong, that I'm intentionally here to fill the cup, so to speak, to be grounded. And I think everybody experiences self-care in a unique and personalized way. So don't let anyone put self-care on your agenda. Don't let anyone tell you what self-care looks like for you. Also, I think that often self-care is surprises us in moments. So a moment of your car turned off and the sun shining just, just a certain way into your, into your vehicle and you just sitting there with your hands just like on your, on your lap and just looking out with not a thought or a concern for that split moment, a total surprise, that could be your self-care. Now you can't conjure that up. You can't just invent that moment. Sometimes those moments of self-care become self-care because we allow ourselves to show up. We allow ourselves to enjoy it. We allow ourselves to be reminded that we belong that we are an integral part of something bigger, that there is something very intentional about who we are and why we're here. Self-care is about letting your cup be filled up in ways that are rejuvenating, refreshing, reconfirming to who you are. I know it's the weekend and I know that we all really want the weekend to be filled with rest and rejuvenation. And I hope for you so much that that is what's happening this weekend. And I hope that it is good. And I also want to remind you that self-care is not on the agenda. You, you're not meant to just put it on there. I hope that self-care surprises you. Now, one last word on self-care. There are people like myself who sometimes have a hard time being intentional about paying attention to what they need. So if you are one of those people, 
by all means, put it on your calendar, put it on your agenda, but allow yourself to be surprised by moments that remind you of who you are and why you're here.